Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the WeatherTech front auto floor mats here on the 2018 Chrysler Pacifica. So here's what our floor mats look like installed in our vehicle here. Now for starter, these are actually a custom fit. So what WeatherTech does is they use some sort of program or some device that actually sort of maps out the interior of the vehicle here. Therefore, when they make these floor mats here, they're custom molded to specifically contour to all the ridges and the bumps and everything else. You can see here, everything just sort of fits in there perfectly. It kind of fits like a glove, if you will. So that's really what these things do best is they're an exact match for your vehicle here. There's not gonna be any gaps. With some of the more universal floor mats that you may be accustomed to, um, they're obviously not a great fit. And when you don't have a great fit, you risk them sliding around. If you guys remember years ago with the Toyota Priuses, they had an issue with the floor mats getting wedged between the accelerator there. So having a nice custom fit mat is gonna ensure it's a nice snug fit there. So it's not moving around. You don't have to worry about any interference with your pedals. And you're also gonna get the most coverage possible. As you can see here, the floor mats actually overlap our factory threshold here. So it's gonna protect that plastic underneath from not only getting scratches, it's also gonna help protect the uh, color of it. You're not getting as much dirt on there. And the same goes for your little center console thing over there. It has a nice ridge on the side there just to protect all the factory plastics. These floor mats here are made of sort of like a rubberized plastic, if you will. I'm not sure what the technical name is for the material, but they really very feel much feel like a mix between rubber and plastic. And what this does is number one, they're very durable, but they're not gonna absorb water, which is one of the big things. If you live in a climate that gets a lot of snow, when you're getting that snow on your shoes and you're tracking it into the vehicle, the factory floor mats are just fabric. So that fabric is actually gonna absorb that water. And eventually if you get enough of it in there, it could lead to mold and mildew. With these here, it's gonna trap all that water. It's not gonna let it absorb into the floorboards. Therefore, when we wanna clean everything out, we'll just simply remove this and we can hose it off. These things are very easy to clean. Uh, you could use some dish soap to clean everything off if there's some mud on there. But aside from that, you guys can just hose them down, let them dry, then throw them back in the vehicle. So if we take a closer look at the actual material of the mats here in the center, you can see that there's several little ridges and grooves here. And what this does is it's going to do a great job of channeling that sort of debris out of the way. Um, so when you get in there, that mud is going to sort of sit into that debris so your feet aren't sliding around. Same thing with water. They're going to sort of go into these channels here so you're not sloshing it around and creating a mess. So we installed the black floor mats for the front in this particular Pacifica here. But there are different color options here for the front floor mats. There's also floor mats for the rear of the vehicle, the cargo area, as well as the passenger area back here. So if you wanted to, you could fully kit out your Pacifica here with WeatherTech floor mats to offer the best protection. So the first step of our installation, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing our factory floor mats. So this is very easy to do. There's going to be these little taps here on the back side. You just simply get your fingers up underneath that and pull straight up. You can see that releases. Then we have one on the other side as well. And there's only two tabs holding it in place. So once we get those out, we can just pull our floor mat out and set it aside. And now it's a good time to take a vacuum and just sort of clean up all that loose, that loose dirt and debris under there. Doesn't matter if it's sitting underneath the floor mat here, but it will make things look a little bit nicer there. You don't have to worry about anything getting trapped in between. But now we can take our WeatherTech floor mat here. Make sure you have the correct side. It should be fairly uh, obvious based on how it's molded, but we'll just go ahead and set it into place and then we'll lock it into position using these two tabs here, which are pretty much the same attachment as the factory floor mat. Just move this back a little bit. So once it's in position here, I'm going to lift it up because I'm going to try to find that knob there. That's actually going to lock into place with that keeper there. So you may have to feel for it a little bit. They should, for the most part, kind of sit where they want to or sit where they need to be rather. And I feel it there. Just go ahead and press it down. I can hear it lock into place. And now I have one on the other side as well. There we go. Perfect. So now that we have the driver's side on, we'll just go ahead and do that same thing over on our passenger side. And that'll do it today for our look and installation of the WeatherTech front auto floor mats here on our 2018 Chrysler Pacifica.